Welcome to the McCormick Kitchens, guys. So today, we're going to be talking all things beef. I do cook at home, but I am not the cook at home. My wife usually cooks, but I usually you know, throw down on breakfast sometimes. My favorite thing to grill, I've never grilled before, so. Today's challenge kind of has to do with you identifying different cuts of meat. You guys able to tell just by looking, you think you could bang this out in under 90 seconds? I think so. Okay, because the kicker so. to this, guys, is that we're gonna have you price each cut out after you're done. Right. I'm ready. All right, ready to sounds run? good. Yes, sir. I'm ready. Right, let's do it. Let's do it. Wait, he didn't say start yet. Call start. Everybody but the center. I didn't start. See, so you see, you already moving. looking over. No, because I saw you do and this. Go. Well, you say go. And you go. Man, that's messed up. Ready? Yeah. All right, let's see how you guys did. Oh my God. All right, we're gonna start with you, Tony. Filet, shrimp, flank, sirloin, ribeye, guess what? One. Five out of five, right. Mm. <laughs> Brandon. Let's go, wrong. In wrong. Case. So that's wrong. not a sirloin. Wrong. Shrimp, correct, flank, right. So you Sorry, got this sirloin on the mm. So you got three out of five, right. So three out of five. I'm gonna Switch make it them. easier for you. We're gonna switch wrong. those up. Right. Bro, Great job it. so far. How do you not Dang. know what a fillet is, bro? Thing is, like, I just got them switched up, man. I, I when got you them guys up. go out to restaurants, what do we order usually? Me. Fillets. Fillets. <laughs> I usually yeah. get a ribeye and I get it well done, and everybody's like, <laughs> "You can't even taste it." it. Yeah, but I don't what like kind of any red in my steak. Medium I don't want to see no that. heart beating. I don't want to see like none. Fully cooked. I want it cooked. Fully cooked. I want the cow well. dead. All right. So I'm gonna put this divider back up. Let's see you guys price these out. Again, this is the price per pound. And go. Yeah, we're good. Done. All right, let's see how you guys did. All right. You are a copycatter. Right. Whoa. <laughs> you definitely copy. copied me, fam. No, I ain't right. copy. Why do I need to copy you for? So taking a look. I got I two to give it to Brandon up, on this like, one. Brandon got all the pricing right. He's got his filet at the highest. He's got his flank at the lowest. His sirloin's right up there. So, so, the, so is that a tie? I was say, you got them all right identifying. You got them all right from a pricing standpoint. See? So great job. See? So we don't have a tiebreaker, guys, but I say a good old fashioned game of rock, paper, scissors will call the win here. Down. Let's go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! He's He's got the no! steak challenge. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry. Forehead's still good. It's important to buy the right steak for the right occasion, guys. Maybe an anniversary, go and splurge on the filet or the ribeye. But for tailgating, I always go for the flank. It's a lean cut, it holds marinade real well, and it feeds a crowd. Thanks, and it's bro. always a crowd pleaser. And I, great know job. I know that. You know why? I got all of them correct. You did get all of them. You did, and, you, but, and you whipped them in rock paper. And That's the price. Right. Okay, so okay, you, you got the, the steaks right, but you don't so even know how to season it, though. You don't even know how to season it, though. Because I but go you to, don't even know I how to, to season it, it, though. It doesn't matter. Okay, oh, you We're got a bland about. steak, but my stuff is scrum dilly umptious. I'm just going to punch, by the way. I'm just joking.